Hello Taurus, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your December 2022 mini tarot reading. Happy holidays to you and your family. At my house we say Merry Christmas, so from my house to yours, Merry Christmas. May this month be and the rest of the year be filled with blessings for you and your family. I'm going to take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. Please remember this is a general reading, and if you'd like one just about you, I've included my website down below, www.soulstarbliss.com. And also you can um, make an appointment with me through readingsbyjudy.com, J-U-D-I-E. Um, and with that said, let's see what else here. Let's see what else we can see what's coming for you. Wow. Wow, it looks like uh, money troubles have been up and down, up and down, up and down for you this, I don't know if it's this year or just this month, but it seems like a turnaround there, which makes me really happy for you. Um, it says though, remember to not borrow or be a lender, be something like that. Um, and if you have borrowed, you make sure you are a person of honor and return that, you know, return, you know, pay them back. But it says here, don't let anyone, um, fool you okay if someone's asking you for money and you're going to borrow it to someone make sure you can do without it for some time okay it says like here let's see justice hmm looks like the things that you've been working on i almost feel like you've been on, a, on an apprentice and this is still talking about money and finances i believe so if you have an issue with money that's not resolved with someone a bank or whatever call them up if it's just you know if it's changing the way you spend the money, it's just important. If you can just put a little money away, you won't have that problem, short and sweet. That's what I wanted to say. It looks like there's gonna be reasons to celebrate here, um, but in a different kind of way. I'm not sure what that means. It means like there could be a delay. If you have plans this month to go somewhere and for whatever reason they get canceled, changed, or delayed, you're still gonna be able to celebrate. Um, so try not to be upset over that. And I feel, again, it's something to do with travel. Maybe it's snow. Maybe it's airlines. Maybe it's whatever. But you may get there the day after you plan. So remember that. I think that's how that, yeah, that's what it's saying. It says if there's delays, it is what it is. We can't change it. We can get mad. We can get worried. We can get whatever, but it won't, it won't fix that. Also, it says there's something in the works to repair some pains from the past. Um, or it's already started, that feeling of being disappointed, like, oh my gosh, this is never going to work out. Change that thought. Cancel, Claire. I am ready to receive what's mine. I am ready to receive this plan. You know, I'm ready to move forward. Just try to change the positive, the negative thoughts into positive thoughts or even self-talk. You know, you can sabotage. I've done it myself. We can sabotage our day just by <laughs> starting it out without an attitude of gratitude. The smallest little attitude of gratitude can make it really, really much better for you. You're going to show a lot of strength this month. Seems like you've been strong for others. And I think someone's going to return that to you or show you or like, you know, maybe if you're sad, they're going to pick you up. If you're having a little, you know, trouble getting started, they're going to help you with that. It just says, be careful not to be dependent and give your power away, meaning that you are entitled to your opinion and you're entitled to the things that you want. Intuition is going to tell you about I don't know if you're thinking, some of you are thinking about moving or, um, gosh, or traveling. I think it could be even both. And it says use your intuition because it will help you pick the spots. And I feel like some of you are planning trips abroad, but they're not going to be till, you know, this summertime or May or June, whatever that is where you're at. It says here, if you did have an argument or a disagreement with somebody close to you, you can change that by making a phone call. You can change that by dropping a card. It says, don't listen to what everybody else says. Listen to what you say and how you feel. I feel like permanent, not permanent, official agreements could be made this month. Ideas that you have, you know, you've had a lot of good ideas. Maybe you've started a book. Maybe you started a business and kind of put it on the side. It looks like you're going to do the end of this month. Um, sit down and figure out what it is you really want. Look back on all the plans you made this year or the things that were started or how things went. And it'll give you a, a really good idea of where you've spent your energy or your, um, you know, spent your time. Even, you know, play it back over in your mind again. Because I think this next year is going to be very different for you. And it starts this month. It's like, okay, my excuses are gone now. I know what I need to do. Um, and not that there's anything wrong with what you've done. 
It just likes, you're gonna pick up and finish some things that you've left undone that are gonna be very powerful. I keep getting books. Someone's writing books that they're put away. Take them out. It's, it might be time to, you know, finish one of them and get them published because I think they could help a lot of people. Uh, or it might be a painting, it might be whatever, but it says keep doing what's creative and it will help you um, get excited about tomorrow and the next year, 2023. Um, that feeling of being alone, gosh, that's come up a lot. It's like it disappears or you see now, you know, I've had my time alone. I'm good with how things work. It says you're going to be hearing from people from the past. I guess it's going to be a busy month for everyone because that's been in every single reading I've done so far. But what's a different, it's like a chariot. It's like, yes, this is where I get my energy. This is where I want to be. And things for you with your wants, wishes, and daydreams, they're all still available for you. Just focus on one at a time. I'm not saying forever. You can focus all on all of them on one day. Put, you know, I'm going to focus on whatever this one is and then put it up on the shelf and then spend 10 minutes focusing on another. You can have as many as you want to. But remember, what you think about, you become. What you put your energy on is so shall it be. Wow. I feel like those of you that are single in the next, I want to say three months, that'd be January, February, March, is going to be a time where um, you could be meeting people. You're going to be in places where um, love is possible. But there's those of you that are single, um, are you ready? Do you want love? Put it out there. Tell the universe, you know, <laughs> but then make yourself available. Like if you get an invitation to go somewhere from a friend, because I feel like some of you will meet somebody through somebody like uh, a friend or um, I mean, I, I don't know how exactly, but it's like you're in the right place at the right time. And is that for everybody? No, it isn't. Those of you that are single are looking for new relationships. I, I believe it is for you. Back to travel, it looks like there's going to be a lot of travel plans in 2023 for you. And it's almost like you have a planner and you're writing down here this month, here that month, here we're going that month. So those of you that have all that plan of that travel, don't forget to take some rest time for yourself. Even, you know, vacations are great, but we have to also have time where we take some time for ourselves. Self-healing, self-blessing, self uh just quiet time is really good. Be careful that you um, <laughs> be careful that you hold on to your papers. Okay, like if you are traveling, this has to. This is someone that came up for someone else. Make sure you have all your papers if you're traveling. Okay, watch your passport or whatever. I'm just saying if it gets misplaced, make sure you, if you're doing travel, make sure you have all the papers you need to travel with you on your body when you get to the airport. Um, wow. There is definite change in money. I feel money's gonna flow freely for you this month. Or um, it says, don't be a spendthrift this month because money is gonna be coming in better, but that's gonna continue through next year. I think that, that you uh, are gonna be making more money or more money flows to you, which is a good thing. Um, and it's gonna give you an opportunity to do some of those things you write in your planner. God, that sounds like a riddle, I don't mean it to. But I just really am kind of excited for you. It looks like this um, this month, you, those plans that you make really are gonna happen and you're gonna be very happy. Don't let anyone take your happiness from you. It says you're um, a powerful manifester, powerful. Don't let sadness from the past cloud your vision for what you want for next month, for this month, for next year. Um, <coughs> you deserve the sun card. Sun card to me is joy like a child. You deserve that. You've earned it. Um, and don't let anyone steal that from you. Sometimes, you know, we get afraid. If we've had sadness from the past, we can say, oh, we don't want to do that. It's just going to be yanked away from us. Change that thought. Have gratitude because opportunities are going to present themselves this month to other people or you're going to be at the, you know, you're going to be right where you need to be to find out about something or know something. Things definitely will start falling into place. Your wants, wishes, and you've waited a long time for a lot of stuff. It says new beginnings now are possible. Seeds you plant right now could even be harvested <laughs> by springtime. And I just, I love that. It just feels so right and it feels so good. Because don't forget what happens around the winter time, the winter solstice. Um, and this is going to be a powerful time too. So put your 
put your intent out there. Like the end of this month, put your intent out what you want for, um, for 2023 and focus on it. And But before you do that, focus on what you focused on this year that worked and didn't work because Taurus... You're amazing. You're really very powerful. You're strong. And let this be about you. Do what you want. Feel good about yourself. You so deserve it. And if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. I so appreciate you all year visiting my um, channel here. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss Taurus. And I'll see you again next month.